Hi friends, thanks for stopping by to see what Keith says today. I want to share with you a little thought about the Father's voice. Um, a friend of mine, a very good friend of mine, uh, and I were talking the other day and he was sharing with me that uh, he had been going through some things in, in from historical things in their family and found some recordings of his uncle and uh, some other folks but as he was looking he couldn't find anything with his father's voice on it and he had been searching through a lot of stuff and he remembered that his dad had done a radio broadcast and had you know been a pastor and so he had had some messages that they recorded on the old cassette and stuff and he was really sad because he couldn't remember what his father's voice sounded like. He had been very young when his father passed away, and uh, so he, there was no memories about that voice in his mind. And um, I, I began to think about that, and I thought, you know, I can I can understand that. My uh, I have two grandfathers that I spent quite a bit of time with uh, as a young man up till in my early teens, and um, one of them, my father's father, Guy Buchanan, uh, was a great man of God, loved God, would ride on the tractors and sing and pray to the top of his voice over the tractors. But you know what? I don't remember what his voice sounded like. I, I just, I, I can't remember. But now my other grandfather, my mother's father, um, I had the opportunity to spend some time with him later when I was in my mid-twenties. Uh, he came to Phoenix and hung around with me for a few days and one of those uh, part of that week we were rebuilding the office that I was sharing with Pastor Dale Lane and we were we were rebuilding inside of it and Grandpa and I worked together for many hours doing that and while we was doing it we would sing together and the gal who was my uh, uh, assistant at that time she snuck in on the other side of the wall and held a recorder and recorded our voices singing and gave that to me later and I still have that recording I actually have it on my computer and uh, I play it every you know six months or so I'll play it and hear my grandfather's voice and I can remember what his voice sounds like because I had a refresher I went back and listened to it again I went back and heard it again I'm reminded of the scripture in John chapter 10 verse 27 it says my sheep know my voice I know them they hear my voice and follow me and that's the important thing that I want to talk to you about today do you know the father's voice do you remember what it sounds like do you have to think about it you shouldn't have to think about it you should know his voice how do you do it well when you read the word and meditate on the word you can listen to what he might say into your spirit and that voice that comes into your spirit that still small voice remember in uh, second kings um i don't remember what chapter it is but second kings the story of elijah when he was uh ran away from uh, the uh, uh jezebel he went and hid in the uh hills and the lord the voice of the lord called him out of the storm or called him out of the, the cave and there was a storm there was a thunder there was lightning there was all this other noise and everything and the word says that his voice wasn't in the storm his voice wasn't in the tornado but then when it was all quiet it says the voice of the lord was in the still small time the small voice that small quiet time it was in the quiet time is what i'm trying to say see he doesn't always have to holler at us. He can speak to us quietly. But we have to learn what his voice is. How do we do that? You might say, okay, you're saying all this, Keith, but what, how do you do that? You do it by meditating on his word. Read his word. Find something in the word that encourages you and, and, and read it. Meditate on it. And then be quiet in your meditation and listen to what you might hear. You don't hear audible voices. I, I know very, very seldom, maybe maybe once or twice in my life, do I remember hearing something that seemed audible to me when I was in meditation. Uh, but, you know, that's not an ongoing thing. It's the quiet, still, small voice. And I encourage you and I challenge you to make sure that you take time to listen 
for the voice of the Lord. Don't you don't always have to be reading. I, I get chastised every once in a while. Yesterday, uh, I got chastised by the Spirit. I heard it in my spirit. He said, "Be still. Quit trying to talk all the time, Keith." And I was just meditating and loving on the Lord and so on and so forth. But I just kept on going. And he said, "I want to tell you something." And he did. He spoke to me about what I'd been meditating on. And it wasn't some great, big, giant, long thing. But you know what? It was powerful because it was the word of the Lord. And it came unto me because I heard his voice. You're not going to get a recording like an audio recording or a CD or an MP3 of the voice of the Lord other than maybe a prophetic voice. And then you're hearing the voice of the prophet. Uh, there's a lot of times that we, we get requests for prophetic words and Georgina will be meditating and, and she really walks in that office of the prophet and the Spirit of the Lord will speak to her and she will speak into her, her phone. I have a recording app on it for it. She'll speak into the phone and record what the Lord says. Now it's her voice, but it's the voice of the Lord, the words of the Lord unto that person. And it speaks specifically to them. That's one way that you hear it. But the other way, of course, is just that still, small, quiet voice. However you hear the voice, write it down. When, you, when He says something to you and you're listening to it and meditate on it, write it down. Get a journal or, or something. I'm not a real big journal writer, but there's a lot of times that He speaks things to me that I want to write it down. And I, I bought me one of those 99 cent theme books at the dollar store and I write down what I've heard the Father say. Then I go back and listen to it by looking at it and reading it. I'm hearing it again. Well, I've said enough. I just want to encourage you. Listen for the voice of your Father. He's got something to say to you. Don't forget, go to the website. Check out the things that are there. A lot of different good uh, video teachings by Georgina. A lot of these a lot of these what he says are little short things, but I hope they encourage you. That's what we're here to do. Encourage you. Speak peace to your heart. Give you something from the Father to let him know he cares about you. Well, that's all Keith has to say today. God bless you. Love you. Thanks for stopping by.